On behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to talk about a limit. What is a limit in calculus? Uh, you have this notation over here, and you'll see that in your textbook. It may be slightly different letters, but before we jump into the calculus, I'm going to take this potato-looking football here, and I'm going to put it on the 10-yard line. So let's suppose the offense has the ball on the 10-yard line. They're getting ready to score a touchdown. But let's suppose the defense commits a penalty. Typically, when you're in the red zone, the offense is getting ready to score. If the defense commits a penalty, the ball is going to be placed half the distance to the goal. So therefore, the ball is now going to be on the five-yard line. Let's suppose the defense commits another penalty. Same uh, repercussions here. The ball is going to be placed half the distance to the goal, so the ball is going to be placed on the two-and-a-half-yard line. Now let's suppose the defense keeps screwing up over and over and over, uh, forever and ever and ever. Well, what's going to happen here is this ball is going to get placed half the distance to the goal each and every time. But truly, the ball is never going to hit the end zone when this happens because the offense cannot score a touchdown if the defense keeps committing penalties. This is not going to happen in real life, of course, but what I'm trying to get you to think about is we started on the 10-yard line, then we went to the 5-yard line, then the 25 so we keep going half the distance to the goal. So technically, we are approaching what you can think of as zero. We are approaching the zero-yard line, the touchdown, the end zone, but the offense will never truly hit it if the defense keeps committing penalties. And that's what can happen with a limit in calculus. Sometimes you can get closer and closer and closer to something, but you may never hit it. Sometimes you might, but sometimes you might not. Let's look at two examples. So we have this same notation, and the way we read this is the limit as x gets close to some number, we can call it c, a, or whatever. It can be any number we want. So the limit as x gets close to c of some function, what's its limit? What's it equal to? Well, here's how I think about it. As x gets close to some number c, as x approaches c, what y value are we getting close to? Well, let's look at two examples to illustrate this. This one here, let's create a limit. So we have the limit as x approaches, I'll say, 4. We can make up, I'm just making up something here. Of 2x plus 8 is equal to what? Well, one thing you can do with limits, not all limits, but one thing you want to try is to directly substitute that number into that function. So let's take 2 times 4 plus 8. I'm just plugging in whatever x is getting close to. I'm plugging it into x. And if we evaluate this, we get 16. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 8 more gives us 16. That is our limit. That is our answer to that problem. However, it's not always going to be that easy, and I want to show you an example over here. So now let's find the limit as x approaches 0 of this function. And what is this going to be equal to? Well, if we plug in 0, we have a problem right there. We can't divide by 0. We cannot have 0 in the denominator. So one technique you might resort to that I'm going to go ahead and show you right now is a graph. So here we are over in Desmos, and this is that same function that we have graphed, f of x. Uh, the cosine of x minus 1 over x plus 2. And we're trying to let x get close to 0. I want x to approach 0. So, I mean, sure, I can grab my mouse pointer and I can move it. And maybe you already see the answer. As we get close to zero, notice that we're undefined right there when we hit zero. Notice that hole there. So we're never truly equal to zero because it's undefined, because we cannot divide by zero. But what y value are we getting close to as we do this? So what I'm going to do is I have this little orange dot over here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to let this uh, x value, watch this x value here, it's going to get closer to zero because we're trying to find the limit as x approaches zero. And I want you to notice what y value we get close to. So I'm going to drag it closer, closer. X is getting close to zero, right? X is really close to zero. Look at that y value. Isn't that y value pretty close to two? Now, when I come and do it right there at zero, notice the dot disappears because the function is not defined there. But I'm going to come over here on this side as well. So notice as we get closer and closer to zero, look at that y value there. 1.95, isn't that pretty doggone close to 2? Just like over here on this side, as we get close to zero for x, the y value is getting really close to 2. That is our limit, even though we never truly hit 2. It's very important to understand that sometimes the limit might not 
uh, be the actual value of the function. In this case here, we don't have a value for zero. We cannot plug in zero. But as we get close to zero, we are approaching a particular y value. And in this case, this limit is two. So coming back to this problem here, this limit is going to be equal to two, even though we can't plug zero into the function. So here's two techniques already. One technique is direct substitution. We'll see some more of those in a future video. And then we also had the graphical approach, also kind of emphasizing that football example. You know, the football example, the offense keeps getting closer and closer and closer to the end zone, to the touchdown, to the zero yard line, but they never truly hit it if the defense keeps committing penalties. The same thing happens here. We get close to two, but we never truly hit it, but yet our limit is still going to be two. And there you have it. That's an intro to what is a limit in regards to calculus. And yeah, we did have a little football example as well. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.